Great, uh, so to start then, my name is Philippa Jeffries. I'm an acquisitions editor at River Publishers. And with me today is Marcelo Sampaio de Alanca, founder and president of the Institute of Advanced Studies in Communications at the Federal University of Bahia. He has extensive experience in communication, signal processing and engineering, and I'm very pleased to have him with me today to talk about his book, Music Science, which is all about the fundamentals of the science of music and sound. So welcome, Marcelo. Thank you very much, Philippa. It's a pleasure to be here with you. Great. So to start with, what inspired you to write this book? Because your background is in electrical engineering communications, but this book covers all aspects of music from philosophy and the history to music theory and mathematics. So how did this come about? Yeah, it's a long story. I, I, I tried to make it short. Um, <laughs> I started to study music when I was a teenager, mostly like most everyone uh, picking uh, an acoustic guitar and trying to produce some music out of it. But uh, I couldn't find the book that had all the interesting things that I, as an engineer later on, I, I found myself uh, involved with. Uh, mainly the, the mathematics and the engineering of the instruments and the production of sounds and all the relations of the notes with the mathematics that are involved like uh, finite fields and all, all the, the maths that were, I, I think uh, the math has been lost uh, because it used to be connected, deeply connected with music in the past. Uh, Pythagoras, the, the Greek philosopher, he established a, a syllables uh, that included math and music was part of math. Yeah. But now it's completely apart. So I, my idea was to reconnect it, music and mathematics as used to be uh, during the, the, the classical uh, Greek um, why do you think then that we've kind of lost this link sometimes between music and maths? Uh, music is, is, is math in a certain sense. I, I, I recall uh, a quotation by, by, a quote by, by Albert Einstein, uh, if I'm not mistaken. He mentioned that a good scientist is like a, a good musician. Uh, it's uh, it's like science uh, should give uh, the same pleasure to a scientist as music gives to a musician and, and other people. Uh, luckily, <laughs> science doesn't give the same pleasure to to all the people, but uh, only to the scientists. My idea was to to uh, try to make science. A bit more uh, palatable uh, to to people, to common people, or, or engineers, or musicians, or or uh, any other people that could be interested in the connections between uh, the old, very old connections between music and science in general, uh, music and math uh, in particular. Okay, and your book talks a lot about kind of the fundamental mathematics of music and sound. Um, so how can we use what we know about that um, to aid music production now and I guess moving forward? Yeah, there's a very, very deep connection between music production and, and math and engineering in particular and communications, electronics. Uh, most of, of the music that's produced today uh, relies deeply on electronics and communication and signal processing. Uh, mm -hmm. Does this uh, all, all, most of the, the, the instruments are now electronically uh, uh, related and uh, they are digitally related. Uh, what I what I see uh, let's point uh, let's pick just one one example in terms of communication uh, like uh, the the transmission uh, frequency, for example, in communication is uh, related to the music pitch, uh, like uh, the uh, music punctures are the, the, the frequencies of the spectrum 
the channels are the instruments that produce music, the data rate is the tempo of the music. So that there's a very, very deep connection between music and communication and electronics. And um, music now is completely dependent on electronic and communication signal processing. So that's that's yeah. a real connection. That, and I'm not inventing this. There's a real connection between those subjects. Yeah, and I guess so much of music is online now as well. So being able to communicate that well is very important at the moment. Yeah, most, most of the music uh, uh, today is online. Uh, you don't buy those uh, big discs anymore, uh, the long play. <laughs> <laughs> you don't buy Someday. all of it. <laughs> yeah, so uh, just for like uh, people that are very, very interested in, in the the uh, deep, uh, uh, roots of music. But uh, it, actually, we don't buy CDs anymore. Uh, we just uh, buy music uh, over the internet. That's that's what we do. So it's completely linked to communications in in the very broad. In very particular sense, in in all the senses, I guess.